Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. For those of you who are new to the show, uh, for those of you who aren't, I welcome you back. Uh, we have a great question about what pre-listing inspection is, or rather, what is a pre-listing inspection? Uh, this is one of the best things that a seller can do because so many times when I've come across sellers, they get surprised by the condition of their home. Maybe there is mold in the attic that they weren't aware of or they weren't aware um, of a pipe that was leaking in the roof and causing a little water damage hidden in the closet. Uh, they just aren't aware of things that they don't see every other or every day, right? Because homeowners don't go up in their attic often, if at all. They don't go in a crawl space and crawl around and look and see if the moisture is good or there's, you know, um, pests eating away at, at the wood, the joists under, underneath the floor. They don't come across these things. And so a pre-listing inspection can actually help with that. So first off, what is a pre-listing inspection? Well, a pre-listing inspection is an inspection that a home inspector does prior to you selling your home. So before you put your home on the market, you have a home inspector, a qualified home inspector, come in and do an inspection. This is almost the same thing as when a buyer comes and places an offer on your home and they have a home inspection contingency, they have their home inspector come out and you know do a report card of the home. They go up in the attic, they go in the crawl space, they go in the basement, they go wherever they can in, in the home, they look at appliances if they're included, they make sure the dishwasher runs at a certain temperature, if that's included in the sale, they do a full scan of the property and provide a report card to the buyer. So why not, as a homeowner looking to sell, have that done before? That way you're not surprised. Okay, so that's what a pre-listing inspection is. It's the best money a seller can, can actually spend, okay? I'm telling you, it works well and you're not surprised and you know whether or not a buyer is trying to be hokey with you and trying to you know bring your their offer price down because they found an issue that might not be there i'm telling you it happens okay so here's some of the benefits of a home a pre-listing home inspection the first one is you can conduct necessary repairs in advance if you come across something an issue that you want to fix or that you should fix or that you have to fix Okay, like I mentioned, the leaky pipe in the attic maybe, or something leaking where it's it's causing water damage where you might not, not look every day, like in the closet, which I've seen that by the way, that's a real thing. Um, you can actually make those necessary repairs in advance. Now, a seller's not legally required to actually make those repairs. You don't have to. You don't have to fix anything in your home uh, unless it's something that the buyer's lender comes across and says, hey, you know, this has to be fixed. But you don't have to. But on a side note, a seller becomes aware of issues, they have to now disclose it. So that's that's a disadvantage, I guess, of a home inspection. Although I would wanna know as a homeowner looking to sell what's going on with my house inside and out. But you have to now disclose that. Many states require a seller to disclose any issues with their home, like a leaky pipe, a leak in the basement wall, whatever it is, you have to disclose that, okay? So just know that. Now, uh, the next benefit is you can cut the buyer's credits. I kind of touched on this topic when when I stated that you know some, sometimes buyers will use a home inspection to, to reduce their offer price. They say, well, you know, we weren't aware of this issue or that issue. So, you know, a buyer can ask you for credits that their home inspection reveals specific issues. However, if you're a seller and you had a pre-listing inspection, you know that it's, a, it's, it's either a valid concern or a false concern. And you can therefore say, you know what, we're, we're not gonna offer you buyer credits or concessions, or we're not going to actually reduce the price because you know what, we had a pre-listing inspection and we know that it's not a big deal. Okay, so you can actually cut the buyer's credits uh, because you have the knowledge in your hands, even prior to selling. Uh, the next benefit is you can compare results to buyer inspection. So home buyer comes along, places an offer on your home. They say, okay, you know what, we, we found this, this and that wrong. You as a seller can actually look at that and say, okay, well, here's my inspection. My inspection states 
that that's not a big issue. It shouldn't be a big issue. And you can actually share that with the buyer that, hey, listen, you know, we had a pre-listing inspection and, um, you know, the certain issue is not as big as your inspector said. And you can kind of use that in your negotiation, your renegotiation, I should, I should say. Now, uh, next benefit is this, a pre-listing inspection makes the realtor's job easier. It does because like I said, a realtor can say, hey, we've already had, it, had an inspection, okay? And we can offer this to you, home buyer, instead of you hiring someone and paying someone, you can use ours and therefore, uh, you know, help, hopefully make the process go by faster and maybe the home buyer won't want to hire their own their own inspector uh, because they are there's already been an inspection on the property by someone uh, a, a third party qualified inspector so that can make the realtor's job easier um and it's a selling point okay so that's huge it it, it, it just saves time and it shows that the home seller is proactive and instead of waiting around getting nervous when a home buyer comes places an offer and then wants to do a home inspection, a seller should never be nervous at that point because they should have had a pre-listing inspection. And by the way, pre-listing inspections are, you know, a few hundred bucks or more depending on the size of your home. So it's definitely worth the money, okay? Now, the buyer could accept the results of the inspection. That's another benefit. Uh, I already touched on this, how the home buyer can use the seller's pre-listing inspection. Uh, a seller can market their home better. So adding a pre-listing inspection to your description can generate more interest. Home seller, you have your home on the market and you put it in the, in the description somewhere that, hey, we've had, or home has already had a pre-listing inspection. What that would tell a home buyer is, okay, they've had a pre-listing inspection. There shouldn't be any issues that are currently in place because they probably should have fixed it or we know about it in advance. It builds faith to a home buyer. It really does. And then the last one, is, uh, the last question, actually that, that was all the benefits, okay? But this is a great question is that do I need, as a home seller question, do I need to disclose a pre-sale home inspection? You don't have to disclose that you had a pre-listing inspection, but you have to disclose in most states, in my state of Michigan, you have to, you have to disclose the issues that you learn about. Some home sellers may see this as a disadvantage and um, not a benefit, right, a con. However, I see it as a benefit because you as a seller, you don't wanna be nervous when a home buyer hires a home inspector. You should never be nervous at that point. You should know. You should have your pre-listing inspection right there saying, okay, you know what? I know what's going on with my house. We tackled this issue or we didn't or whatever. We know it's not a big deal. We know that there's certain things going on that aren't big deal, that are not a big deal. Um, so we know what the home buyer is going to find. And yes, there's a chance that maybe another home inspector might find something different, but they're not gonna find something major if you've already had a uh, a pre-listing inspection. So pre-listing home inspections are awesome. Definitely get one if you're looking to sell your home. All right, wait the extra week or so that it takes to have someone come out and do a pre-listing inspection. It's money well spent and it's peace of mind because you as a seller will know what's going on with your house inside and out, which you should anyway when you're looking to sell a home. You should know what's going on with your home inside and out and have documented something showing that, hey, listen, you know what? I know what's going on with my home. I hope you found this episode valuable. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments. And I invite you to follow me on social media. Those links are in the description. Uh, otherwise, I'm Jason Jillius, Michigan Realtor, and make it a great week.